Hello, hi, thank you so much for clicking on my YouTube video. So today I'm going to be reading to you guys some beautiful poetry from Afghanistan. Before I get into my video, I just wanted to let you guys know that in the description I have timestamps so you can skip straight to whichever poem you want and I also have a link for the website I used to get the poems. Which may sound very random to you guys, but let me just give you a little bit of context. So I have a series where I redraw countries as people and today I decided that I wanted to do Afghanistan. A lot of the times I do take requests from you guys which countries you want to see but I really wanted to do Afghanistan because I feel like it's one of the those countries that has a lot of negative connotations attached to it and what I wanted to do is I wanted to draw something more positive and focus on the more positive aspects because a country is more than just the negative things that you hear about it um, and as somebody who loves culture and diversity I believe there's beauty in every single culture in every single country so whilst I was researching Afghanistan I found out that poetry was a very important part of their culture and that's something that I really wanted to highlight because I did have a look and I found some beautiful poetry and that is why I am reading you guys poetry from Afghanistan I believe Afghani is or Afghan is the correct way to refer to something from Afghanistan. Please feel free to correct me if it's not. So I do post all of my videos on TikTok. However, I only have one minute, which is nowhere near enough time, especially when I'm trying to explore an entire country. And of course, it's not gonna represent the whole country, but I wanted to get a lot more into the video. I wanted to read more poetry. I couldn't even read one whole poem in that minute time span so I wanted to read you guys some poetry so without further ado let's get straight into it. Okay so the first poem I'm going to read to you is called Spring by Reza Mohammadi. Sorry if I pronounced that wrong. Spring came and put on your shoes. Spring came and took you on a journey. Spring came when you were sleeping and made her bed by your side. While you slept, she infused you with her spirit and dyed you with fresh blood. Spring gave you a new name and brought you freedom. Clouds blessed your home and called your name. Stars burned shisha in your room. Your mood, your breath, your heart, take flight like a bird. The wind sweeps through your bedroom. You dress yourself with the morning breeze. Now you and spring are one. Spring gave you a new name. So love came and put on your shoes. The next poem is called To Love, also by Reza Mohammadi. I chose this one because I love how much beauty she puts into everyday life. To Love We don't wake together. I come to in an empty room by the sea long after you've woken and opened the window and showered and dressed and left. Your day is a street which leads to a road that reaches a building, then leads to an avenue, lastly caught in the grid of the city. My day is a corridor that runs through my veins and is closed neatly with copper buttons. We make our ways home. You wear your purple dress to match the colour of the clocks and I slip on my patu, a good time for green tea. Meals bring each together. 
as does the TV, the news, the computer. I love you like the fire loves the stove. You love me like the stove loves firewood. Later on, we clutch each other and dream our separate dreams. The next poem is titled, I Still Have Time by Patel Naduri. And again, I apologize if I'm not pronouncing the name correctly. To me, this poem is about procrastination and I really enjoyed it because I feel like it's something that everyone can relate to. I still have time. It is well past midnight. I should get up to pray. The mirrors of my honesty have long been filmed with dust. I should get up. I still have time. My hands can yet discern a jug of water from a jug of wine. As time's wheeled chariot hurtles down the slope of my life. Perhaps tomorrow, the poisonous arrows aimed at me will hunt down my eyes. Two speckled birds startled into flight. Perhaps tomorrow, my children will grow old, awaiting my return. Okay, so I'm going to read you guys two more poems. The next one is called The Bridal Veil by Shakila Azizada. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. This poem is quite an interesting one and I'd love to hear you guys tell me what your interpretation of this poem is down below in the comments. The Bridal Veil I've hung my wedding dress on a hook of white memories, my gaze like silk on his shoulders. I've torn my heart from his chest, which still smells of my milk. He'd wake, his fingers pulsing on my neck, the same old clamour of lust in his arms. I've torn my heart away, but my eyes are still filled with him, his back broad and resplendent in a bridegroom's shawl. I won't remind myself that with the next breath, he'll take off her veil. I won't count his breaths. Again, I just have to say that poem is so beautiful and I would love to hear you guys' interpretation of that poem and what you think it means. The final poem I have for you is a very, very short one and I thought it would be great to conclude on. The name of this poem is Star Rise again by Partao Naduri. I am the twin of light. I know the history of the sun. Stars rise from the blisters on my hands. And that is it. So that is the final poem. I hope you guys really enjoyed the poems as much as I do. Tell me what you think in the comments. I'd love to hear your own interpretations of the poems. I also have the link for the poems down below where I got all these poems from so you can read them yourself and I would be very interested if anybody speaks the original language that these poems are written in to hear your translation of it. So thank you very much for watching my video. I hope you guys all have a lovely, wonderful, positive day. Thank you. Bye.
Thank you.